Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a, a little bit of a discussion in regards to um, defensive AI and how you move with defenders when you do control them and people asking for the game to be uh, manual defending. Uh, so when it comes to these situations, right, I feel like people need to understand the specifics that make uh, FIFA good in regards to making it a, a manual defending game and a game where defensive AI needs to be a thing. I do think that defensive AI uh, needs to be there a little bit, not as much as it is right now, because right now it, it is ridiculous, but a little bit of defensive AI wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Now, people need to understand as to why it can't be made into manual right now, right? So there's a lot of different mechanics that you have to take into consideration when you're looking at defensive AI. First of all, God, I'm going to keep saying it, but it's true. If you have good gameplay, the thing that the things that make defending good or bad, like uh, switching, uh, transitioning left and right, if you guys don't know what transitioning left and right is, basically when you have the cursor on a defender and you are holding out trigger and using right trigger and you're going left and right against the, of the attacker's left and right because it works both ways, right? When you're playing good gameplay, uh, the defending left and right is very smooth and the attacking left and right is really smooth because the dribbling is very responsive, right? So that part, the transitioning, is awful most of the times you play most of the times you play the game. So defensive AI helps that part of the game. Uh, also, another thing that the game actually helps in is uh, tackling when you're not controlling. Reason being is because, as you guys know, sometimes you will press the tackle button and the player will not tackle the ball at all, right? And it happens a lot of times where, depending on how long you, you hold the tackle button for, either it does a long tackle or a short tackle, and sometimes it just doesn't do it at all. So there is also that thing where you have to be careful because if you make it completely manual, and you don't fix the tackling itself. Like when you side tackle, it does that. Um, and when you tackle, it actually does tackle. That's a very big thing too, right? Because back in the day with defensive AI, right? Um, right now, if your defensive AI slide tackles for you and blocks the shot, th that's your defensive AI doing that for you, right? Back in the day, it used to be more of like a risk. Like, oh, do I want to slide tackle right now? Uh, do I want to risk that opportunity to, you know, get a red card or concede a penalty? Now there's not really much of a risk anymore because your player will do that for you if you hold all trigger, controlling him or not controlling him, most likely not controlling him, he'll do that, right? Um, a mechanic that I feel like EA needs to add into FIFA, which I feel like would be very, very helpful, is uh, manual tackling, right? So uh, in real life football, you don't necessarily, because in FIFA, you're, uh, th this is why Super Cancel is a good feature in, in PES, and this is a feature that I feel like FIFA needs at some point in the future, even next year's game. Um, tackling in a certain area to block a shot that will be shot across on the floor or whatever, I feel like would be a very uh, influential game mechanic to have in the game if they were to add it. If you guys don't know what I mean, imagine this, right? When you slide tackle yourself, right? When you slide tackle yourself, uh, the player is always registered to the opposition player. He, he always slide tackles for the ball at the opposition player. But wouldn't it be nice that you, you were able to slide tackle to either cover a passing lane or to cover a shot? So let's just say, for instance, your, your opponent's player is like this and he wants to shoot it across like that. If your player is standing here and he slide tackles straight to block that shot across, I feel like that'd be a really nice mechanic to have because that mechanic doesn't exist right now because everything is registered towards um, whoever has the ball. So I feel like that kind of mechanic uh, would be really, really nice to have so that you would reward someone who actually manually defends a shot across goal if he really thinks he's going to do it. You don't necessarily would have to um, block the person. Now, again, when these types of things are being talked about, you have to balance it first because every time EA releases something new, it usually tends to be the most overpowered thing. So they would have to find a way to make it not overpowered and it being based off of if you tackle, you're basically dead if someone does like a fake shot, uh, a fake shot upwards or a fake shot on the spot to, to open up the space for himself, right? So, um, but it would also be very helpful for passing lanes, right? Uh, in passing lanes, when someone is going to pass the ball, like they're on the edge of the edge of the 18, and you just want to slide tackle straight, not at the person, but you want to tackle uh, slide tackle straight so you can block that pass on the floor. That would also be uh, another very very helpful mechanic. Uh, if you guys don't know what super cancel is in Pez, it's basically there's a button as you're running. I think it's um, 
I think it's R1 or it's a different button where when you're pressing it, it registers so that you can move freely around the pitch. And then when you let go of it, it registers back to the person who has the ball. So that way, you know, there's a balance between the, uh, the two and it helps and it helps a lot. It's actually probably the best game mechanic that Pez have over FIFA because it allows you to have freedom in the air when you're defending, trying to win the ball in the air, because what you do there's a little bit more skill and variation to crosses, not in terms of them crossing into your 18 yard box, but in regards to uh, someone doing a goal kick and then you can battle and get in front of them and win that battle against someone else who would also be super canceling, right? So there's a variation of a skill there in regards to where you think the ball is going to be. If you super cancel, let go of it, your player goes back into position to win the ball in the air. So I think that's a, another mechanic that EA should definitely take into consideration. I had a lot of different ones. Uh, that I felt like EA should definitely have been looking at. That 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 super cancel feature is a big thing because you know how sometimes, let's just say for instance, someone is making like an attacking wing play, right? Like they're pushing out to the sides and they're just running, running straight. You don't like it when your defender, so let's just say the guy is running straight like this. You don't like it when your defender is in this position right here and then he goes this way to go get the ball. But you don't want him to go this way because you know that if you go this way, you are losing that speed, that race against the opposition going upwards like this. Because if you go like this, obviously he's going to keep going straight, so he's going to be ahead of you, right? But if you can super cancel and be able to run straight and just basically catch up to the guy that way, because that's what most people do. They're not going to chase after the guy. They're going to go straight, block that area, and then go back to the guy. Um, I feel like that would also be a very, very good feature as well. But, uh, you know, I wanted to make this video because... People need to be careful with what they ask for, right? Like you cannot have manual defending unless certain mechanics are fixed. If you have manual defending, your switching would have to be god tier. Your switching would have to be really, really good. Like when the cursor is on top of a player's head, when you switch to him via L1 or LB, it would go over their head and then you would be able to right stick smoothly to other players, which does happen in good gameplay. Not the cursor thing. That That's a thing I think EA should adjust for next year's game or this year or whatever game they want to do. Um, but the right stick switching is very good when the game plays good, right? So definitely something to take into consideration. But uh, with defending, like I said, you got to be very, very careful, right? It, it's good to have a little bit of defensive AI. It's good to have a little bit of it. Not a lot like it is right now. It's, right now it's at a ridiculous level. But a little bit of it doesn't help. Because if they make the side tackles and, you're, and you have the cursor over them, and you know, you're paying for someone like Rio Ferdinand and all that stuff, it kind of makes sense because you're paying for those cards to make those really good side tackles, right? Um, because obviously EA are always going to want to have like a pay to win element to it. So it does make sense. I'm trying to think of other things. That super cancel while winning the ball in the air is a very, very big thing for me. Uh, super cancel is also very effective if, if um, let's just say for instance, this is why super cancel is really good too. Uh, there's a command in Pez where you can do a manual pass. So wherever your thumbstick is aiming, you can see the line of where it's going to aim and it'll pass in that direction. And from that direction, you can super cancel with another player to cut back inside or cut. It's really cool. You know how sometimes you pass the ball to someone, your player just keeps running forward and, he, and the ball has to come with him as he's running forward. You can super cancel, collect that ball and then collect it going forward as well. So I think that'd be also be a very, very good feature. Uh, Stand tackles, obviously that's what defensively has. Sliding tackles, heading the ball. Physical presence, I think EA does the physical presence thing okay. You know, the physical players usually tend to win the, uh, the engagements uh, most of the times, I would say. Um, yeah, I would say that they would, they would win those engagements most of the times. I'm trying to think of anything else in regards to defense. Switching. Uh, transitioning is good when gameplay is good, but when the gameplay is bad, it's good to have defensive AI for that. Um, and I think that is pretty much it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. On the corners, I actually feel like you should be able to move your goalkeeper even earlier. Uh, because there's that transition part of the screen, which, uh, is kind of annoying. I like manual goalkeeping on corners because if, because the thing, the thing with the FIFA community is that people need to understand that it is possible to remove manual goalkeeping from open play, but to keep it for um, set pieces, which I've told them it'd be really, really nice if they were just if they were to just remove um, manual goalkeeping from open play, but to keep it for set pieces because corners and crosses don't have skill right now. There's no super counts or anything like that to to cover to block against it. So it's nice that you can pull out your goalie uh, to basically block a, cro a corner across until the point of like you know people being able to actually cross it. Because the thing about manual goalkeeping with uh, with corners and crosses is that 
you have to push the, the goalie to a certain position. But if you pass it far post, right, or you can hit it directly in the net depending on the angle that you're, you're crossing it from, uh, you could still score the opportunity. It's not like it's impossible, but it's really nice to be able to block those people near post, always trying to overabuse those mechanics. So um, just a little discussion video in regards to why I think EA can't push defensive AI to be more manual uh, because they're, the way their game mechanics work right now in general with inconsistent gameplay and the tackling being off at times, the switching being awful most of the times unless it's good gameplay, uh, I think it's something that people need to take into, into consideration when looking at what would make defending uh, really, really good or really bad. I don't mind defensive AI being there a little bit. I don't think it should be as much as it is right now, ever. A little bit of it would definitely be really nice. Not too manual, not too, not crazy defensive AI like it is right now, but a nice in-between would be really awesome. But that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to have a little discussion video on why I think uh, defensive AI cannot be manual just yet. Would it be nice if it was an in-between of the two? Yes, but there's too many variables to take into consideration before EA are to look into anything like that. So just want to let you guys know about that. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.